products that I'm reaching for right now under $10 at the drugstore. That video is coming at you immediately. Hello all my friends. I'm so glad that you're here with me. I can't wait to share with you these 10 products. The reason is, is because they might not be new to my channel, but as I was diving through my stash, I realized, oh my goodness, I have so many gorgeous products that are under $10. And I did a 10 series. I was doing 10 products under 10 from 10 different brands, but there are brands that have so many good products in them that are under 10. So I am bringing you a few more of those and I'm excited about them. Now let's start off with these because I know you've seen these like crazy across social media. These are the little six pan palettes that you get from Essence. And the hype is real they are just incredible this is one actually i'm going to say that about everyone this is one of my favorites i love this let's just get these swatched because i want you to be able to see how beautiful they are how they perform i'm not going to swatch that really light one that is there because the light ones really don't swatch that well anyway so they are saturated enough that you can build them up but you don't touch your brush in there and go oh my goodness i've got too much and you get too much on your eyes whatnot it's not like that. This is some of the most gorgeous formulas I've ever used. High-end, luxury, you name it. I love it. They're beautiful. And again, that one was Dancing Green. And I know my swatch got a little patchy right here. I'm not rubbing them in very well. But I think that you will just love the way that they are on your eyes because they don't show so much color at once that you get out of control with your color they're very very light and you can build them up to be very stark these are gorgeous they're absolutely gorgeous as far as i'm concerned this one is my i like to mauve it mauve it and uh, love the names on them they're so cute reminds me of my kids childhood and all of their fun little <laughs> movies that we used to watch 5,000 times. The next one is Ice Ice Baby, and it's the blue one. Again, I'm not going to swatch that super light one, but I'll swatch all of the rest of them for you. Oh my goodness. They're so pretty, and they blend so well. They they just, they really do blend very well, and I know, like I said, some of these are looking patchy. They don't look patchy when you put them on with a brush. I'm just, my finger has got a little bit of wet on it, and my hands got a little bit of wet from cleaning so good how could you not look at these and go these are gorgeous for four dollars the quality is outstanding next one is coral me maybe and this is your coral palette with the beautiful gorgeous uh, peaches in here and some beautiful mattes there's the gorgeous um orangey pinky peachy colors i think this is so pretty and i can even wear this one and you guys know that i do not wear a lot of warm colors but that one is beautiful coral me maybe my very very favorite one that they have is taupe it up and this one it has those cool colors and oh i love it the quality again just let me reiterate this quality is so good the mattes are so blendable this is your beautiful beautiful neutral that has the grays in them and they are are so gorgeous for me because i'm light toned this is a dream and then the last one is bronze this way i didn't think i would like this one but i do like it it is pretty for different colors of the you know the fall season a warm palette yes but i adore that brown that saddle brown in there and i do like this copper in there as well and have worn it too so these are outstanding if you've been thinking about getting them go ahead and get them i know that lots of times when it's online they don't show that they have that many of them but if you go and you go in store or even you click on the pick uh buy online pick up in store you can find that they will be available a lot more of them will be available that's actually how i got mine at two different ultas I have two different cream liquid formulas of blush like i told you i'm a blush fanatic right now i don't know what happened to me but i have gone over to the blush side so this one is from la girl i like these these are the velvet blush sticks these have come in all different colors they do come in highlighters they do come in bronzers and for the price you just cannot beat that price plus they are so creamy and they blend so well across your skin you can 
build them up you can shear them out whatever you want i think they're absolutely gorgeous and they stick around a long time once they set down to kind of a powder formula and then the other two that i have i've talked about as well but i have completely fallen in love i have the the flower beauty blush bombs and i wear this one called bubbly all the time in the summer because it's just this bright cheery very very pink color almost along the lines of a lilac color which I love. I think it's so pretty, but I've fallen in love with this color called Cheeky. I think it's so gorgeous. It just, it looks gorgeous with any fall look I'm wearing. And I didn't think I would like it at first because I thought, well, it's just another mauve. But man, that looks so beautiful on your skin, just kind of, you know, lightly tapped out. I put a ton on there so you guys could see. But let me just see if I can kind of rub them out so that you can see how pretty they are i want to put a highlighter on top of these in a second so i want you to see what they would oh my goodness that just looks like my hand is on fire <laughs> so down here is cheeky and up here is bubbly and then this is the la girl one they're so gorgeous and i said that i wanted to put a uh, illuminator over them or a highlighter over them and that is this born to glow from nyx and i know that i showed this to you about a month and a half ago but i want to show it to you again because this liquid illuminator is so nice and this is the mini size you don't need the big size take my word for it a tiny tiny bit goes a long way i'm going to show you this first on my clean hand over here that doesn't have anything on it so you can just see the reflect again this is just it's a gorgeous highlighter for somebody that has mature skin because it's not that powder formula that's going to show up any texture but if you wanted to put it over top of a powder it's just as pretty so now what i would do is if I was going to put it over top of a powder, I would kind of tap it between my fingers or use a, a stippling brush and then just tap it on top of your blush and or under your blush, which is my favorite thing to do under any blush. And it gives this gorgeous glow. I don't even know if you can see it that well, but a beautiful glow to your skin. And wow, I'm in love with it. It's just so subtle and so pretty. I mean, even over here, you can see that it's got a really subtle glow. It's not like beaming from the stars. Um, it's just really pretty. Let me just see if I can just tap a tiny bit of it onto this cheek right here so you can see. Yeah, this is so pretty. It just gives that extra little hint of pretty glow. Kind of make sure that you tap it out because you don't want it to get into one place all at once. It's just a pretty, pretty little glow. I just, I think it's so gorgeous. So this is one that lasts with you all day and doesn't show texture either. And for a mature woman, gorgeous. This liner from Profusion called Wing It has all of a sudden saved me. <laughs> I need a super teeny tiny precise liner that can go really close to my eyelashes on the lash line up there and not get out of control because of my shaking hands. This tip is so little. Oh my word. Can you see how tiny that is? It made a little dot on my hand. I'm going to try really hard to keep it tiny on my hand, but you guys know how much I shake. So this is just the most precise Hopefully you guys are going to be able to see that. That is the most precise little teeny tiny liner that I have ever found. Lasts all day, goes on like a dream, costs $5. I, this is better than the Kat Von D tattoo or the Fenty liner that I've been using for such a long time. I love it better than both of those because it is the most precise one I've ever used. Now, Along those lines of being super precise, I also have another one from LA Girl that is their fine line that does the same thing, but this is a color. This is a teal, which I love doing too. This is a super tiny one again. I love doing this too because I like having different colors. I like my eye look to be not just everyday neutral. Sometimes I like to spice it up a little bit. You can see what I'm talking about. It's so pretty. I love using something like that. They are gorgeous. They are teeny tiny thin lines. I don't like having a thick line up there because I feel like it makes my eyes look smaller, but I do like having that tight line in order to make my lashes look thicker and longer. So love those. And then I came across, and I believe I've shown these before too, but these are so good and i had i had a blue one and i can't find it these are the new eyeliners from nyx that are called the epic wear 
this one right here which let's see this one is called periwinkle pop i wear this one in my waterline all the time because it has this gorgeous silvery periwinkle purple look to it so pretty and they stay in your waterline like nobody's business i love them and then the next one let's see this one is called graphic purple they're both so pretty i love it as a liner or even if you're going to use them across your lid as just your eyeshadow they are budge proof they're so good and they are great in the line in the water line and then i was so impressed with this one from la girl this is the shockwave liners super impressed with this one this one is called ocean it is a bright teal blue and this one is i would say that this one is a little bit better just for a smudgy liner but they have tons of colors of this too and they also have their lip liners which i'm really impressed with as well i think they're great these all will stay in your waterline at least for a good four to six hours i don't feel like anything really stays in your waterline like 24 hours or anything like that but these are all really really great liners for being budge proof and how nice they are covergirl exhibitionist lip liner and i have mine in marvelous mauve or marvelous and I love this. I love that it's an automatic lip liner. I love that it's got a slant tip on it, but I love this color. It's a great color for me, and I think that they have some beautiful colors. This is kind of a kind of a rosy pink, but it works so good on my lips. And I have been really enjoying having that because the Exhibitionist, I talked about the Exhibitionist liner being super duper budge proof. This is really good for that too. This is one of the ones that I have found that are so good for not bleeding. If you have that problem and you just really struggle with it, try one of these. I can't wait to get a few more of these. I can't find these in store right now. Probably Walgreens or CVS would have them. They usually have a few more than the local Walmart does. But I really do appreciate this one because it is an automatic um, liner. I like that for the lip one, I like its lasting power. And I really appreciate this mauve color. It's really pretty. And then lastly, I know everybody is going gaga for the big, bold mood, big mood mascara from e.l.f. And I could not make that work. It just did not work for me, but I have been pulling this one out. And this is another tube that I just bought this week because I was pulling my old one out and noticing that it was drying out a little bit. But this one that is called Lash It Loud, this is the best mascara that I feel like e.l.f. has ever come out with. It doesn't have the natural bristle, bristle brush. It is the plastic bristles, which a lot of people don't care for. I don't mind it. I kind of like it. It's a little bit easier for me to really just coat my lashes and get my lashes just a little bit longer. And the thing that I like about a plastic bristle brush is you can go back in and just tip your lashes and it doesn't grab onto them, but it will make them just a little bit longer. And you can see that this has built up some beautiful length on my lashes today and I just really love it. And I wanted to make sure I put it in here because I feel like it's a lost 10 under 10 and I just think it's wonderful. Let me know in the comment section if there are any products under $10 that you think that I need to know about. I always love picking up drugstore and trying them and i appreciate you being here with me so much thank you always for your support i love you very much and i will talk to you in my very next video goodbye my friends